Millions of Americans are voting for the first time in this election, and that includes a Giles County man whose vote this year is just the most recent way that he is serving his country. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell tells us what it took to get him to the ballot box. Victor Campos is no stranger to service. When he came to the United States from Mexico as a child, my parents, my grandparents wanted a better life for us. He made a commitment to service. And I never forget those words. I raised my hand. I said, I will defend the flag of the United States. And he did, enlisting in the Marine Corps in 1976. Two decades later, Victor sought to continue that service by joining the National Guard, but there was just one problem. They will not take me because I was not a citizen. What it boiled down to. So I said, I didn't want to apply. I didn't want to pay them $70 to become a citizen. But he did. Naturalization took Victor two years, and he says it was worth it. Clearing that hurdle sent him to Iraq, fighting alongside his daughter Marley. But even after returning, there was still something missing. The man who worked to become a citizen so he could defend his country so bravely had never exercised one of his fundamental rights until now. <laughs> so funny, but this is my first year that I went out there and voted because of all the things going on right now. We didn't ask him who he voted for, but we did ask how it felt. Well, I was very proud, you know, I mean, it'd been, it'd been a long journey. And why? That question took him back to his earliest years living in the U.S. They discriminated me because I was proud. But I didn't let that affect me. I don't hate nobody. I might not like some people, but I don't hate them. We love everybody. A message that carried him through years on the battlefield and ultimately led him to the ballot box. Hopefully, my voice will carry on or will be counted. A new sense of patriotism for a true American patriot. In Giles County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.